In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get the header of an email in Outlook, and it should only take about five minutes. Now you might be wondering, why would you even need to look at the email header? Well, email headers contain critical information that can help you trace a message's route, verify its authenticity, and understand its metadata, which is particularly useful for cybersecurity or troubleshooting delivery issues. Let's dive right into how you can do this in Microsoft Outlook. First, you need to log into your Outlook account, open your preferred web browser, and navigate to the Outlook login page. You can simply type Outlook login into your search engine, and you'll find the link to Microsoft's Outlook service right at the top. Click on it and you'll be directed to the login page. Once you're on the login page, you'll see an option to sign in. Look for the sign in button, usually located at the center or at the top right corner of the screen and click on it. At this point, you'll need to enter your credentials to access your account. In the space provided, type in your email address. Be sure to use the email address you created with Microsoft and double check that you're typing it correctly. After entering your email, go ahead and click next to proceed to the password entry page. Now on the password page, enter your password carefully. Security is essential, so if you're in a public place or using a shared device, ensure no one else can see what you're typing. Once your password is entered, click on sign in to access your account. Sometimes Outlook might ask you if you want to stay signed in. This is a great feature if you're using your personal secure device because it saves you time in the future. However, if you're on a public or shared computer, it's safer to select no. After you've signed in, you'll be taken to your Outlook mail inbox. Here, you'll want to locate the email for which you need the header information. Click on the email to open it. This is where we start working towards viewing that all important header. When the email is open, navigate to the top right corner of the email window. You should see an icon resembling three dots. This is often referred to as the more options icon. Click on this icon to display a drop down menu. From the drop down menu, find and select view. This option allows you to access additional settings and features regarding your email view. And in this case, it should lead us directly to the message source. A sub menu will appear under view. In this sub menu, look for an option labeled view message source and click on it. Granted, the exact naming can vary slightly, but it usually contains the words message and source. Once this option is selected, a new window or tab should open up displaying the email's raw source code. Here is where you'll find the email header. Although the window might initially seem a bit overwhelming as it's filled with technical data, you can locate essential header information right at the top. This includes the email's metadata, such as its path, delivery times, and sender authentication results. So that's pretty much it. Getting an email header in Outlook can be straightforward once you know where to look. To recap, you've logged in, navigated through the more options icon, selected view message source, and now you can see all the intricate details of your email's journey. If you're familiar with reading email headers, this information can be quite enlightening, revealing insights on your messages, travels, and security details. Finally, here's a quick tip. If you need to document or analyze the header information, consider copying and pasting it into a text file for closer examination or sharing it with tech support if needed. Just remember to handle this data carefully as it can contain sensitive information. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you now feel more empowered to understand your emails better through their headers. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.